Here's one of my old favorites. Live again. Let's go, eh? Uh huh. Old Scotty, it's the end of the party. Let's hit the road before I have to flash back to Shinigami Modo, Shinu Hodo, Isogash. Cause they gotta run. But thanks for watching what I put out, though it's not a ton. Excuse me, sorry, Tai Hen. Time to say goodbye again. Promise it's a matter of time before we're best friends. It's not the end of your Mori. Cause every closed door is just the intro of a brand new story. <laughs> I've set things up so that criminals will continue to die over the next three weeks. L is aware of a lot by now. Therefore, I need to throw him a much needed curveball, such as proving criminals will continue to die while I have no access to any information about them. And more importantly, I need to see which among the harem of my Oshis are streaming right now. Oh, the symptoms are starting! I'm gonna show you, L. With Ryuk's information and my preparations, I can continue to be god of the new world. The friend that everyone needs. You can't fix him, Nerissa. I don't want to fix him. I like him just the way he is. I love you too, Nerissa. Please let me be your moderator. We as Fauna and Saplings, we cannot be friends. And we shouldn't be friends. <laughs> You like the way I control this, don't you? You sick and then you <laughs> take that number, I could be like light, but better. After dinner, your son just goes back to studying while engaging in fatherless behavior. It's because I am mostly always here instead of at home. I just want to attack other people and I want to kill other people, and I want to create conflict, and um, I want to watch the world burn. God, I love VTubers with all my life savings. And L gets to bear witness. All right, just a little bit longer. Thank you for agreeing to hang out with me today. It's been a while since I've had a chance to socialize. I'm feeling kind of thirsty. Want to go grab a drink? I'd like to get to know you better. I'd like that too, honestly. But if you don't mind, I'd like to start by asking you something specific to you. What's that? As you know, I would love nothing more than to stop suspecting you as Kira. So what's your favorite VTuber? As I said, it's very standard. I like the high-pitched gremlin trope. They're very clippable. They also have a tendency for chaos and will often suffer the consequences of their actions, like the war criminals. They tend to overlap. War criminals are also very clippable. War criminals tend to be smug, with an inclination toward dark or edgy humor like I suspect Kira to be like. Changing your answer now won't do you any good. Except I'm not thinking of changing my answer. A man can have more than one favorite. You're right. I'm a fan of the say-so trope myself, and that has five sub-tropes. I like half seasons myself. I assume it's because they cuss a lot, but are also very modest. Makes sense for a man of your tastes. Exactly. And yet, there's more to me. Like how I also like the powerhouse trope. Doubling down, I see. Powerhouses and their egos go together like hags in the age of 30. Hold on. Let me just take out my donation receipts. Wait a minute. $5,000 for Mori Calliope from a week ago? These are my receipts. Just thought I'd make you comfortable by being honest about myself. Yes, go right ahead. See for yourself what I'm willing to waste money on. Very interesting. Damn him. That means he already knows all my answers, which is why I doubled down, of course. Everything is going according to plan. As always, it's never a coincidence. So I can just go ahead and tell him I love the psychopath. Silly L, I know you'll say their true nature often contrasts their cute design. We both know my answers don't matter, so I'll just give you my own gap, Mo. Will he continue on his current path, or will he walk another? It's very interesting how you gravitate toward the leader of the group. They have such powerful main character energy. Amelia Watson commands much respect and attention with her innovation and genius, but my lowlies are superior. They emulate childlike behaviors and speak like an absolute zoomer. 
They remind people of their youth and encourage them to embrace the cringe. They are innocent balls of sunshine that you wish always stayed that way. Their naiveness is cute and they invoke a desire to protect. And whether it's an act or not, they're fucking dumbasses. That's not all. The truth is, I am also a fan of low lees. And I have a receipt here to prove it. This one is definitely not mine. Is that one million dollars for Gargura? I can't believe this guy just fucking mogged me. I'm supposed to be Gooba's top shrimp. Damn you, L. I'll have to outsimp you later. Their inability to do math or even understand basic grammar at times, always needing other members of their groups highlights another aspect of them. No matter the degree of perversity, they ignite a dynamic in their audience that invites playing the caretaker for them, and become to the audience a dystopian form of entertainment based on their naivety. For someone with a godlike complex, like Kira, it would mirror the followers they wish to shepherd toward their twisted form of safety. And like the lowly, Kira charges into random situations without thinking about it and gets teased for it. Isn't that right, Kira? I don't know, bro. I think this says more about you than it does me. I don't think so, for someone who likes half say-sos. You're awfully close to liking say-so ents. Degenerates behind closed doors who will act pure and appropriate on stream, but announce their desires in such a way that prevents them from being looted, or in your case, outed. I can't believe I'm just letting this guy roast me like this. I can't let him get a reaction out of me, though. I'm a proud VTuber fan, L. Try harder. With all due respect, I don't think this conversation will help you determine if I'm Kira, which I'm not. Would you like to know my actual favorite VTuber trope? I honestly don't care. I'm pretty tired of this conversation. It won't help you determine my real name anyway. Like I said, bro, don't care. I adore the mommy trope. They're so protective and caring. Bonus points if they have a deep voice and can say stuff like Ara Ara. He's just trolling me now, isn't he? They can pull off sexual undertones, but aren't inherently sexual. They rarely cater to it even. God, I love a mature woman who can pamper and take care of me. You're an orphan, aren't you? Ooh, mommy fauna. Please coo me over to your heart. You're from Whammy's house, aren't you? Pippa was schizo ranting about it last week. And you're Kira. Do you want to know why? We got Kira's message. L, do you know gods of death love horse That's absolutely degenerate. And yet, you're the only one in the Kanto region who has heard that English-based audio, based on your internet history, at least a hundred times. You know, I'm not the only one in the Kanto region learning English, or who likes VTubers. Surely you must know how narrow the list of suspects has gotten with that little reference. I have been pulling your leg this whole time, Light. This may not directly reveal you as Kira, but it's brought me this much closer. I now suspect you 30% given the other degenerates in this region. I can't believe I'm facing the consequences of my actions. Excuse me. Oh, there goes mine. Yes? Ryuzaki, I have some bad news. Light, your father is... Light, it's your... My father. All your cringe gave him a heart attack. 